happy almost Christmas, my beautiful ladies. I hope you're on the downward slope so you can kind of cruise into it. That's what I, my plans are. All right, today we're going to do a foundation comparison. Now I have two light uh, foundations. One's a fondy tint. This is Wet n Wild Soft Beige. And on the other side will be my e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter Glowy Makeup. It's not really a full coverage, so these two, I want to see which one, maybe both of them will be fantastic, and how they wear all day. And then I will be doing my matte foundations. I'm So far, I'm really loving this Cover Girl in Natural Beige. Very pretty. And then my NYX Blur in Light Medium. Now, these colors seem to me to be more of the summer, so I'm probably going to have to mix some of my LA Girl See if I can get the front on here. Mixing pigments. These things are great. One lightens up, the other one, which is the blue, will do the uh, get rid of the orange cast, yellowish cast, and make your makeup go on good. And what I've been doing too is taking my sponge and I put my makeup on and then some of the pigment reducer and putting that on together without mixing in beforehand. And it's worked. It's worked and it, it's just wonderful. I'd rather do this than have to pick several different foundations and hopefully get my color. So <clears throat> without further ado, wackadoo, let's get started. I've already done my eyes, very subtle, and then I have a bold red lip. <laughs> it looks funny now without the makeup on to balance it out. So we'll get started. First one is going to be my Wet n Wild. You know how I like to shake, 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 shake your booty. All right, maybe not, but anyway, my booty, when I shake it, just continues to shake when I'm done. So I'm going to take this on my right side. These little doe foots are funny. Yeah, okay. I don't have any uh, rhyme or reason of how I put it on. Wet n Wild, as I said, has been a big surprise. They are not full coverage, but they are, they even out your skin tone and they cover light blemishes. Subtle coverage. So you just want to, depending on your skin prep, and of course I did my skin prep and I used my serum sunscreen. So I have full sunscreen coverage and I have a moisturized skin. And I wait 10 minutes because it can make your makeup kill and separate if it's too wet. I have found that for me. So now on this side, I am going to use my Halo Glow Filtery Pretty um, Beautiful Makeup by Elf. And this is in medium four. On the left side, I will be doing the doe foot of life here. Ooh, this looks dark. Aha. Compared to the other side, Sure, ladies. I'm going to add a little bit of the white in my sponge, but I'm going to add it on the side that I used, that I'm using the e.l.f. glow. And I'm going to see if that doesn't kind of help lighten it up. And you don't need very much. One like this, to that side. Oh, I think they're beautiful. They're the glowy. <laughs> and I think I did pretty good on matching the colors by adding a little bit of white in my e.l.f. I'm easy to please when it comes to makeup and its longevity. Uh, I'm not a newscaster or someone that's on camera all day long. So by the end of the evening, I don't scrutinize my makeup. But I know for most of you ladies out there, you want long wear. So we'll check it out in about seven hours and see how this held up. Now, in the meantime, I am going to add a little bit of blush and contour. So my contour of choice is NYX Wonder Stick for today. It's also a highlighter, but I think the highlighter is a little too highlighty for me. I'm going to take the light brown and I'm going to go just right there and just right there. And right here, contour, contour. Contour is fun. Down here under my waddles, you know, I have those. I think that's all I want to do. Then I'm going to take my fabulous, fabulous brush that I got from BK Beauty uh, 109. And a lot of people use this for contouring or makeup application, blush, 
all over. But I love the tapered head to use for my contouring. So we are going to contour. Look. I still like to make that face, you know. It's just a lovely brush too. It's very soft, but firm. Oh, it's a lovely brush. If anybody has this brush and uses it for makeup, let me know. I'm really not a brush fan uh, for makeup application. I really love my sponges, but this brush, I'm going to use this cream blush by Essence, Baby Gut Blush, a little pink color, and I'm going to do this right on the banana. It's very light. Okay. Then I'm going to take this brush, Angie's 507, that she uses for blush or bronzer. I'm going to, I love this, it flares out like that. Got to be careful. I've been real heavy handed with the blushes and bronzers. I want this to be a light dusting, as I said. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so what do you think? This side is the e.l.f. Halo Glow in medium four, and this is the Wet n Wild in soft beige. Okay, ladies, we will be back shortly and see how this held up. Okie dokie, artichoke. I just love saying that. I'm old school. I like the old school sayings. <laughs> Enough babbling. See you soon. Hey, my wild and crazy ladies. I'm up like this because I'm in the studio and the light is nice and bright. Okay, it's been seven hours. I think it looks good. I've powdered and I did have to take my little sponge and go around where it did set in my lines. But this is the fondy tint, which is a light application. So I think it wore wonderfully for that. I will be back tomorrow for the matte, matte on matte foundation and we'll see how well it holds up. All right, everybody. Hey, beautiful ladies. It's time for round two, the matte foundation comparison. We have CoverGirl Natural Beige and NYX Blur Light Medium. All right, so let's get to it. I've already prepped my skin, and so I'm ready to go. I'm going to start with the CoverGirl, and I have a new sponge. Okay, okay this, hmm. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit of the white LA Girl pigment. Just, just a teeny, tiny, 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 teeny. Just almost the darker side of a natural beige. <laughs> I don't know. You just have to go by what your skin looks like. Okay. I got glitter, glitter on me. Now we're going to try the blur, the next blur. Matte. Shake it good. I'm going to put on the back side of my sponge. Here we go. Oh, oh, this definitely is an orangey. Yeah. I'm going to try a little bit of the LA Blue. Whoops. Just barely squirt. Ah, there we go. I know you're supposed to mix it on a palette before you put it on, but I've been doing this and not having any issues by applying it after my first coat to make sure how my first coat looks. Okay, hmm. Again, with mattes, well, with any foundation, especially on our uh, mature skin, we should, you know, push, press it in, get it in those little crevices and, and pore holes. <laughs> I am trying to stay away from the parchment look. <laughs> I'm going to go forth and put on the rest of my makeup and some concealer and be right back and we'll see. All right, here I am with the matte foundations, NYX light medium on this side with a little bit of the blue LA Girl to tone it down a little. And this is the CoverGirl natural beige with a little bit of the white to just, you know, make it lighter. I am just thrilled that I have these pigment options to add to my current makeup to make them wunderbar. Then I will come back tonight for the dun dun dun, dun wear test for the mats. Hey, my wild and crazy ladies, here I am at 8 p.m. at night. This is the CoverGirl side, and this is the NYX. 
I think they're great. I did have to take my sponge and go around because, you know, I eat sloppily and apply my lipstick. But other than that, I mean, I'm easy to please. All right, ladies, until we meet again, which will be soon. Don't be late.